Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In today's video I will try to explain how to duplicate costume and as in previous one where we have duplicated the sprite, uh, same process here, you only have to click on costume to select it, then right click to pick duplicate option and that's it. Uh, that will make copy of your costume. Uh, on our screen we have a cat on some field with tree and some apples on the tree. So for example for my game I need to add different types of apples. Um, maybe yellow and maybe green one to uh, make it more interesting and um, more uh, beautiful to look at or maybe for some kind of quest where your cat should pick only green apples or yellow and sell those or take them to some other character or NPC. <clears throat> so if we click on those apples which we have duplicated like this, right click duplicate and those were sprites, all of those are same, they are red. If I click on costumes, all of them have only one costume. And that's all cool, some sprites have more than one costumes or images in them like this cat it has two costumes and some sprites have only one so for example if i wanted to change this costume into a yellow color i would pick this fill tool pick yellow color here or green and just click on it but that would destroy my image in terms of I would change my costume here so let me do that with Apple tool I will pick the yellow color I will pick this paint bucket fill tool and click it but see now at Apple here costume and see the Apple on the screen how it changes yeah why is that so as we have learned before because this sprite Apple tool it has only one costume so you can say that sprite is that costume or that costume represents that sprite. They are the same because there is only one costume in that sprite. It's the same image. And for the cat or for example for this girl Abby, we cannot say that. Why is that so? Because when I go to costumes for Abby, I see four different costumes. So the one which I pick here will be the one which is representing the Abbey on the screen so you have to understand that one sprite can have more than one costume and the costume you pick here will be the one which will show on the screen which is sometimes good or uh, sometimes what you need but for example we see here now with our apple that we have changed now the color to yellow and okay maybe that's what we needed here let's change the this one to some kind of uh, green yeah so this is apple tree green okay this looks great and that's what we needed more or less i'll rename it to green apple this one to yellow apple just to be and this one to apple 4 to red apple so i have now red apple green apple yellow apple and this one was start uh, starting apple just apple okay so uh, now my game designer says okay uh, this is cool but i also want to have this in my game I want the color of the apple to change from time to time. It will start as green because that's how fruit starts as green. Then it will become ripe, it will become red and then after some time it will become yellow. Okay and this is yeah, this is something I would use in a real-world game scenario. This looks fun to me, like 
you have to collect apples before they uh, rot before not to green not to yellow but exactly when they are red that could be like a quest or something interesting okay so um if i go to red apple i have red if i go to green apple i have green if i go to yellow apple i have yellow that's all cool but that's only one state i need all of those three states in one sprite so i will try to do with apple sprite and i will now need to do what to duplicate the costumes how select the sprite costume you want to duplicate right click duplicate this can be for example we will turn this one first in green second will be red and the third one will would be yellow great so i'm now uh, just be aware i'm all now all the time in this one sprite here i'm not making new sprites like new characters on the screen it's all in one sprite but different costumes so i want the and we have learned in previous videos how to rename the costumes so the second one will be red apple <clears throat> the first one should be green i have green already selected so i will just pick the fill okay and the fourth one would be yellow or brownish to represent that slowly our apple is rotting away okay let's rename those this one is yellow apple and the first one is green apple and again i'm renaming the costumes and i have duplicated them with right click duplicate so and see now on the screen i will hide those not to confuse you the one which we don't need now so we have the apple sprite on our scene and that apple sprite has three different costumes three different images in it the costume which i pick if i pick yellow apple costume that will show up on the screen as a sprite if i pick green it will show as a green red as a red my game designer my idea is that my game starts with green apples like this and then in code i will add the change when the game starts I want my look to be which green apple and then do what wait for three seconds or yeah three seconds and then do what change to another costume which one red apple and that's where you need to pick the apples then i can duplicate those then wait for three seconds and do what change to yellow apple and then maybe wait for three more and disappear like the apple is rotten it's disappeared and this looks like a fun game to me i would maybe turn this into full game tutorial um hide hide where is hide it's under the looks i think yeah hide okay so you see how we have duplicated the different the same sorry costume red apple and turned it into different costumes rename those and use the code now and now my game should start with green apple wait for three seconds turn into red wait for three seconds turn into yellow wait for three and disappear so let's try try that if it works
Nice. I like how this looks and when my game starts, yeah, you need to show because we hide our apple at the end and scratch doesn't know we need to show it at the start so i have to add that he knows we hidden the apple the apple is hidden but we have to tell him okay first when the game starts show it okay nice and what we have learned before and what i was talking all this time that you when you code something when you make something work in scratch or any other game engine or application and you need to copy that feature it's much much easier to do that when this is already tested and working and now all i have to do is duplicate and now we will have a couple of those behaving the same and we can change this game the feature yeah i like how this looks it represents how nature works and how you have to pick your fruits only at one period of time okay nice Uh, what I would add here is maybe some kind of random um, time, not maybe three seconds, but to, to to make those apples maybe randomly changing color and maybe some finer color change. Mm, that's it, yeah, maybe also position random and so on. Uh, but that's another topic and another uh video another tutorial maybe because yeah right in the comments i would like to make some kind of game like this if you if you also need it uh, i'm also i'm also into farming games i like them and uh, yeah we will do that in the future for sure see you then see you in next videos and thanks for watching